Because at the last division meeting, that's what he said. He said, three steps you're off your push. Be on the phone, be on a demo, or be at your office. Now, during push period, I lived in my office. Lived in my office. Like, they would walk up, they're like, Aviva, go home. I'm like, no, 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 blah, 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 blah. I have a bunch of stuff to do. Why? It doesn't matter. You're always going to be doing something positive in your office. You're not going to be just sitting around doing nothing. And if you are, your manager's going to kick your butt for it. So... Um, you want to do those three things. And then when you're on a demo, creating and asking for big sales. I'm not going to start with the do you believe everyone should own Cutco? Because if you guys are here, yes, you do. Everyone should own Cutco and everyone should own everything of Cutco. Everything. And if you don't think so, you're not using your Cutco. You need to use all of it. I don't cook. I live it and I do not cook anything. But what happens? Well, I started using my Cutco and my average order doubled. What did I start using on? I don't know. Opened up the fridge and cut up a bunch of fruits and vegetables. I have no idea how to cook, but I know how to cut a lot of fruits and vegetables. So start doing that. Start letting your mom use it for a little bit. Whether she owns Cutco or doesn't, if she doesn't, shame on you. If she does, great. Watch her use it. Ask her for some testimonials. Nothing that her mom will probably tell you, don't do this job. Nothing like that. And then having her use it and then hearing her say, wow, this stuff is really good. Like, if I'm ever watching my mother cut, she'll always comment something about the knives. Like, I view, I can't believe these knives are still so good. Like, stuff like that. That product conviction is just going to happen. So creating and asking for big sales. There is so much Cutco. I have only one person who I know who, who has owned every single thing Cutco has, everything, including the cheese knife. I went to her last year. Um... She owned an ultimate set, she owned a gourmet set, she owned service for 24-hour flatware, she owned the accomplished cookware, she owned everything. She was my biggest sale ever. So most of you, you'd get to her house and you'd be like, she owns everything, what do I do? You know, let's make a wish. The wish list was for $857. And I'm working in her kitchen and I'm like, I'm not leaving here with $857. For most of you, you'd be like, yes, double my average order, great. No, 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 no. Like, if this woman has this much Cutco, she loves Cutco. And when a new rep calls me up from a demo, oh, they own everything. I'm like, no, first of all, they don't own everything. Cutco just came out with the new stuff this year. So they don't own everything. You know, they have a little studio set sitting in their kitchen, and the rep's like, they own everything. No, they don't own everything. And even if they do fantastic, they know it makes the best gift. They probably have some family member who needs something, and they own it, which means they've already spent money on it, and they see value in it. You don't need to cut ropes, penny, and and leather, they cut food on a daily basis. Have them write a testimonial for you. And in the testimonial, I learned this from John Burgoff, ask them, hey, Mrs. Jones, how long do you own your Cutco? What do you like about Cutco? And would you recommend it to somebody else? And then ask those three questions. But then also say, and hey, would you recommend it as a gift for other people? What are you doing? Well, you're seed for gifts. At the end, when you say, hey, would you like to get a gift for someone? She's not going to say no. She just wrote in a testimonial. Of course I'd give a gift. It's the best gift ever. Blah, 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 blah. You go, you know, you're talking to a woman who's crazy about her knives. Sometimes these women are crazier about Cutco than you are. But I'm not just talking about people who have Cutco. I'm talking about anybody and everybody creating and asking for big things. If you don't ask for it, when you're finished, they're not going to say, hey, can I have more? It's like dropping down. We don't start with the studio set and go up to a homemaker and up to a signature set and up to the family set. We drop down because somebody's not going to say, oh, I want more. You don't usually get that. Maybe you get that when you go for ice cream. Hey, can I have another scoop? But you're not going to get that when you're selling Cutco, no matter who you're going to. So you need to be the one to ask for the order, A-S-T-O. You're not going to have big orders if you don't ask for them. So how do you ask for them? I learned this from Aaron Luden when I was going for really big pushes. If your line won in $5,000, you do not need to be scared. So what does that mean? That means that if the customer is comfortable with the homemaker, they're comfortable with $1,000, especially if they're paying in full. You should never have a customer pay in full. Ever, 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 ever. Underline that in your notes four times. Because if they're comfortable with spending that kind of money, divide it by five, and that's what they should be paying now. So if they're comfortable with $1,000, people don't pay bills weekly. People don't pay bills daily. They pay bills monthly. So if they're comfortable with $1,000 now, well, they're, be, they'll be, they're, they're, excuse me, they're going to be comfortable in a month. They're going to be comfortable with that in the next month. If they're comfortable with that now. It doesn't mean like, oh, my God, so I'm going to have my electricity bill, and then I won't be able to pay for Cutco anymore. No, no, no. They're comfortable with 992 
great. You are 92 this month, Mrs. Jones, and next month, and next month. So if you sell a homemaker, fantastic. Mrs. Jones, with shipping and tax, that's just 224 for Florida and New York. It's a little different, whatever our stuff is. Mrs. Jones, that's just 224 Would you like to go ahead and add that flatware on just for another 225 Guys, the flatware with the new special is just 225 and it's even less because I added the shipping in that. That's without the, that's with the shipping. You don't need to pay for shipping twice. You just need to know your payment plans like that, the top of your head. You need to know so that you can do them in your sleep. The family set with shipping and tax is 465 if you don't know that, you're not going to be selling family sets. The signature set is 331 with shipping and tax. Guys, I've never even sold a signature set. They just came out. I haven't done a demo. Why do I know that? Because I want my reps to sell them. How can my reps sell them? If I know that it's 331, they're going to know it's 331. 465, 331, or 24. Mrs. Jones, would you like to go ahead and try out that family set? Because you really love to cook and entertain. And you need to assume the sale every single time. For big orders, you need to assume that they're going to say yes, because if you think they're going to say no, guess what they're now saying? Nope. When you smile and nod, you know, I had a rep at, at, uh, at the last division meeting who was like, hey, Diva, you got to teach me to smile and nod. Like, I'm like, I just believe it. She's like, what? I'm like, when I smile and nod, I'm just like, yeah, Mrs. Jones, you're going to go ahead and try that out, right? Great. Do you like that in classic or pearl? You got to smile and nod with the belief that they're going to get it. It goes back to advanced training. Do you believe that they're going to get it or not? Period. Because whatever you believe is what's going to happen. I believe I'm going to sell a thousand dollars on every single demo that I do. This push, if I can afford three demos, I believe they're going to buy five grand for me every single time. Because I've done it a lot. No, I haven't done five thousand dollars a lot. I've done a thousand. I've done two. I haven't done five. But you need to believe it. You need to know those payment plans like that, like that. And if you don't know them, take out your phone, take out a calculator, figure it out. Or you say it. Don't ever have Mrs. Jones wait. Don't ever have her be like, oh, Mrs. Jones, that's just nine ninety two. Uh, hang on, let me see what it is with shipping and tax. Because during that moment of hesitation, what may she might do? She might be like, no, 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 no. No, you need to be smiling and nodding the whole time. She's going to get this. And you need to know those numbers. You need to know flatware, cookware, and, um, and the set of knives together. You need to have that number. You need to know what she's going to get for free. By the way, Mrs. Jones, when you try all three out, you get that ice cream scoop for free. Go nuts over the ice cream scoop. Go nuts over it. And some of you are like, you sold five grand only giving away an ice cream scoop. Absolutely. You don't need to. It's not a great thing to give away free stuff if you don't need it. So we're going to get it anyway, even as well, because why not? You know, tell your, I mean, you're giving your customer a great deal either way. She's going to be getting a better deal on Cutco today. Why? Because... When people buy Cutco over time, Cutco doesn't depreciate, it appreciates, right? It goes up in value. It's always getting more expensive. We just raised the price of Cutco last summer. So Cutco's always getting more expensive. When she gets the set today, she goes ahead and gets the cookware. Any of my customers who only got a set of Cutco last summer, and this summer they're going to be getting cookware for me, well, they're paying more for cookware now. Why? Because they raised the We lost Aviva. Aviva. Hopefully she'll come back on. <laughs>